excuse me. <laughs> what do you know who I am? <laughs> That's right. It's me, Sulla. <laughs> do you know, it's me that ought to be doing the interviewing. I always do it, don't I, everybody? <laughs> yes. yes. Isn't that right, Chuck? <laughs> yes, I mean, you over there with the fair hair. <laughs> but you know something? There are an awful lot of people here from Liverpool on holiday. I saw a fellow on the beach this morning. He had his trousers rolled up and his little handkerchief on his head. <laughs> but I knew he was from the pool. Do you know why? He was paddling in his wellies. <laughs> <laughs> I must ask you this. Have you seen in the papers about me? I'm about to become a mum for the third time. <laughs> I've gone stark raving mad. <laughs> I said to my husband, oh, what's it all about, Bobby? <laughs> well, to Rafa now. To Rafa. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, part of the programme when I would very much like to sing a medley of my hit. But unfortunately, I haven't got time to do that. So instead of that, I'd like to introduce you to somebody who's never been on television before. It's not surprising, really, because she's only 15 years old and she's only been singing professionally for two months now. She comes from exactly the same place as Lulu, in other words, Glasgow. Her name is Kimberly Clark, and she's going to sing a lovely song for us right now. <laughs> Who is our strong man here at uh, Seaside Special? Is going to let a one and a half ton elephant walk over him. I don't believe this, so just watch this. And here he comes right now. One and a half tons this elephant is. And they always say an elephant never forgets. On the other hand, it hasn't got a lot to remember. <laughs> Coming over now. Carly at the moment, of course, is on holiday. He packs all his things in a the trunk. <laughs> there you go, he's done it. Marvellous. Fantastic. Oh, oh, yeah. I've missed you so much. Why haven't you been in 
touch with me. I love you, I love you, I oh. love you. Uh, you know this girl? Slightly. <laughs> oh! I, I, I What's the matter with her? I submit, I submit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with her? I can't stand the sight of her. Well, why don't you tell her? Look, look. I can't stand the sight of you. I cannot stand the sight of you! I can't stand the sight of you! Well, you can have back your ring. You can have back your bracelet. And you can have back your coat. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought you said you couldn't stand the sight of her. I can now. <laughs> That's all he ever thinks about. Crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a great pleasure to introduce somebody you've admired for some time. And our next artist is just one of those kind of people. Uh, I love listening to him, and I'm sure you'll agree with me when you hear and meet Mr. Kenneth McKellar. How about it? Sure as I know the garden will roll I'll get along and longer the song is strong in my soul I'll never know what makes the rain to fall I'll never know what makes the grass so tall I
See, so especially it really is time for a bit of fun. We're going to see some really wonderful water skiing and then the Royal Navy are going to be whizzing around in some amazingly fast patrol boats. And if your eyeballs can take all this at the same time, Mike Bass and the new edition are going to uh, sing for us a special little bit of theme music that is doing very, very well. In fact, we expect it to be in the top 50 very, very shortly. It's called Summertime City. <laughs> Last time we were together, we always seemed to meet up in this cage for some unknown reason. We're going to have to stop meeting like this. But the last time uh, was on the Cilla Black show, wasn't it? That's correct, yes. When I told the lands a few jokes, which uh, it wasn't exactly a roaring success, was it? Uh, no. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they, were, they were a little bit small then, weren't they? Have they grown up since then or not? 
Yes, well, they were younger then, but uh, 18 months. Yes. I think they're about man-eaters now. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> they're man-eaters now, are they? Yeah, just sit close to me, you'll be OK. Yeah. Well, i tell you, I tell you what I think I might do. As the jokes didn't do too well last time, I thought I might sing them a song. What I do you think, think? They'll, they'll appreciate that. Yes. Better than the jokes, I think. Now, what song would you... <laughs> what song would you like me to sing? Um, what's that one? Tie a yellow ribbon round the well, old oak tree. I'm very glad you said that, because it's the only one I know, actually. I know there'll be some yellow in it somewhere. OK. <laughs> I'll tell you what, shall we let the lions in? You ready? Yeah. Shall I just get out of the way? No, you, you just stick close to me. And if All right. Go, we'll both go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're going to be a good audience tonight? <laughs> right, let's have some music, shall we? <laughs> You're going to love this. You really are. I'm coming home, I've done my time. But I've got to know what is and isn't mine. If you receive my letter telling you I'd soon be free, then you'd know just what to do if you still want me. If you still want me. Oh, tie a yellow ribbon round the old old tree. It's been three long years. Do you still love me? If I don't see that ribbon round the old I'll stay on the bus, forget about us, put the blame on me If I don't see that ribbon round the old, old tree Please welcome once again the lovely Lulu Same sad story, love as it's been a worry. 